Okay, so hi everybody. Today we are gonna be making an apple tart, which I made before. I'm super excited and we have all the ingredients right here. And before we start, have you checked out my new outfit? I have a new apron hat and I have gloves. And so before now, let's just get started. So what you need is you need a big bowl and we are going to add one fourth cup of uh, flour, which is one and one fourth cup, and you put that in the bowl. And then you need two tablespoons of your powdered sugar, which is right here. Then you need one fourth teaspoon of salt. This is a big container and a little bit of salt, but still, that, that's the amount of salt you'll need. Now, then you'll need one uh, stick of butter, which is a half a cup, and make sure it's like just a little softened so it's easier for you to mix and mash. So we're going to actually mash it because that's the best way. And we can fast forward it. Fast forward this if you'd like so it doesn't take long. And here's the masher. Whoa. This is getting good. Do you think this is going to come out good? Because I think it's going to come out amazing, as you saw in my last video, to make a chocolate mousse. Uh, and the Oreo cake, I say amazing, which is short for amazing. And this is coming out amazing. So you're going to keep mixing your um, flour mixture until it's yellow because of the butter. It, and you need your salted butter because they're salted and unsalted. This is coming out great. And as you see, it is coming out a teeny bit yellow because of the butter. So, yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do is if you want, you could mix it with your hands because that's going to make the process a lot faster and it's going to get very good. So, yeah. Okay, so now this looks all mixed into a dough. So now we're going to add three to four tablespoons of ice water. And if it doesn't work for you, you could do an extra tablespoon of five tablespoons because that could not work. And it's gonna look like mush so far, but then it's gonna get all doughy once you keep doing it. Yeah. Okay, so now it gets loose. And now that's what's gonna make it that good dough we want. Okay, this looks very good. Now you can mix it for about two more minutes and then this will be able to get into a dough because it looks like sticky right now but when you add flour and roll it out that's what's going to make it better. So right now, we the dough is almost done. So we are going. So you would be able to mix it for about five minutes, and then that's what's gonna make it your dough. So it looks pretty good so far. So now we're gonna put it on a flat surface and cover in flour so it doesn't get all sticky, and we roll it out as our pie crust. So we should get the flour. So right now we have our dough and it's all ready. So now we're gonna flour our surface, just real quick. So, and if you don't want to stick, this is what you can do, add flour. And if you're gonna roll it with a rolling pin, then put just a teeny bit of flour on your pin too. 
So get your dough. Oh, and put some on your hands too so it doesn't stick to your hands. So right now, what to do is you're supposed to put your uh, dough as a circle and you're gonna put flour on top and on your fist. Then you put one, two, and then you go one, two until it's your desired shape. And make sure it's not too thin or thick. Just right. One, two. One, two. And then you gotta keep doing this because this is actually looking pretty good so far. And I mean, at least I like it because I mean, I mean, I have made this before, but still, it could go wrong. Cause this. So right now we have our dough. So the trick is, if your dough gets too sticky to your pan, it just breaks apart. Then you should add more flour so it doesn't. And don't go too hard because then that's gonna make it like too thin and you want it the right one. And remember, you can do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you're gonna make sure you roll it until it's your shape as your pan, which is we're gonna put this in as you see. How about two more one twos and this should be pretty good. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is put this dough on our, you know, pan, and then we're going to actually do a trick. So what you do for the trick is you roll up your dough onto your pan, or not your pan, your um, rolling pin, and then you're going to um, make sure it's on completely. I'm gonna add a little more flour right here because it actually just break, broke off a little bit. So right now we have our dough again, and right now we actually spread the pan so it doesn't stick, because as you know, Things may stick to the pan if you bake them and stuff. So you're gonna put them with flour and oil or with non-stick spray, which is what I did. So what you do is you're going to get your dough. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't like stick to the pan. So I'm gonna add flour and you roll it up and then put it on your pan. It may break apart, but so now we have the dough rolled on our pan, which is the trick, you may know this. And this could be very, very hard. So you could ask an adult mom or dad or even a grandparent to help you with this because it is a hard job again. So I did help my, well, my mom help me. So what you do is you pick it up, then you roll it across your pan. And if it's not big enough, that's okay. So right now we have it all good up and what you should know is that if it just doesn't work you should like spread it out with your hands and if it breaks just attach the pieces to whatever and if it looks messy that's okay. You still have your pie crust and make sure to spread some on the edges because that's how the pie crust is supposed to be. But this is a tart but still. <laughs> And then, well, yeah, that's what you basically need for your pie. And if it's not enough, again, that's okay. Then when, when you're done with this, you're going to have to put your apple chips. I call them apple chips, but they're basically slices. And then you put them in, in the inside here, and we'll tell you what's next. <laughs> I ate an apple chip. So it's time to add the apples in. Now, you can do them any pattern you want, but I'm just going to go for it and add all of them. Oh. Now, get them all in there and go wild. <laughs> and if you're a kid, go wild with your imagination. And go whatever. Um, shapes and sizes, like roses or something. Or you can go out like everywhere like me 
this is looking pretty good so far. So, so now we're gonna go on to the next step, which is adding this. So I mixed in some sugar, cinnamon, and salt. So you'll need one fourth teaspoon of salt, um, three fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half cup of sugar, and you mix that together. And then you just like put them on top of here, and then you add two tablespoons of melted butter. This is what this is what's gonna make that apple pie goo, and yeah, <laughs> and that's the good part of an apple pie. Just so you know, it's gonna smell good and cinnamony. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then this is what's gonna make it stick, which is basically that um, butter part. The two tablespoons of melted butter, just so you know, it's melted so it sticks. Okay, all of our sugars poured on, and we're gonna add our two tablespoons of butter, and we'll be right back. So right now we have all of our cinnamon, sugar, and salt mixture onto our apples. And now we are gonna put two tablespoons of melted butter and microwave it for a minute, which for a minute, which is basically 60 seconds. So pour it all over there as much as you want and can. So that is all of that. So now that's gonna make it go. So now until that's preheated, we're going to, um, you know, put this in there for 55 to 60 minutes. Now the oven is at 350, as you can see, and we already have the two tablespoons of melted butter. Now we're gonna put it inside the oven for 55 to 65 minutes. the timer to bake so right now we have that in the oven and now it's completely baked and it looks awesome so we're gonna take it out and we're gonna see how it tastes so be careful you need an adult supervision for this but I have a mitt so it should be fine So guys, do you think this looks delicious? I think it does. So comment down below if you really think that this looks delicious and if you made this before. So um, I don't know, do you think we should cut a piece? Also comment down below. Welcome back everybody. Now as you see, we cut a piece. It's very sloppy, but I think I like it because I mean, when it's messy, I guess it tastes good. So. We're gonna give a scale from one to 10, but make sure to blow it off before you eat it because you don't want to get yourself burnt on the tongue, which I know is the worst. So I'm gonna try some. Oh, OMG, guys. This is amazing because, I mean, it's warm, but still, it's just so much flavors. It's just the apples and the crust, and it's like, so good. From a scale from one to 10, I give it a nine because I mean like, it's just so flavorful and it's very close to 10. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you can, on the comments, make sure that you tell me that if you like this and have you tried it before and what scale do you give it. And bye.